my name is LazyJet and welcome back to Train Sim World 4. And today we're back on the training center because we are doing another unstoppable runaway test train thing. But this time, I've got an idea. Now for our runaway train, I was thinking we should have something electric, fast and maybe even American. So if I press tab and then spawn new train and a uh, no a l is it a l no uh, a c e l there we go can't even spell it uh, we want uh, the Acela Express and let's see if we spawn this down. Ooh. So I think you can see where I'm going with this here, can't you? Yes. Now, for those of you who don't really know much about the Acela Express, this is one of the high-speed uh, electric trains in America. And you're probably thinking, how am I supposed to stop this train if it hasn't got a, 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 a coupling? And what's, what's that beeping sound? Do I have to actually... Hold on. Um, it's got a beeping sound. How do I, how do I stop the beeping? Uh, hold on. I can fix this. Hold on. Um, just need to remember how to do this. Onboard train... Uh, bypass? No, it's not bypass, but which one is it? Oh, cab activation. Let's press that. And then sit down. And hopefully that should stop the beeping. I think, um, oh, all the generators are starting to turn on. I don't know why. Um, right, let's close the door quickly. So yeah, the question was, um, how am I supposed to stop this train if it hasn't got a front coupling? Well, it does. It's just hidden in this little compartment thingy. There we go. So it's got a knuckle coupler. We'll have, to, we'll have to open that, don't we? Uh, but at the moment, uh, we can we can close this at the moment because we don't really need it open just yet. So the big question is, can I stop a high-speed electric train using... Uh, yeah, I think you pretty, pretty much guessed it already. Can I stop this runaway train by using the Flying Scotsman? <laughs> I know, it's pretty bizarre. So if you're new to the Lazy Jet YouTube channel, why not consider subscribing? Turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel, which is just a click of a button. Right, let's get the runaway train set up and let's play some train sim. <laughs> Now again, I have no idea if this is gonna work, so, because every time I record these videos, it's... Actually, I need to leave these doors open, don't I? Every time I record these videos, as I said, um, they don't exactly go according to plans, because I legitimately don't know how this is gonna work, I don't know if this is gonna... I just don't know if this is gonna work, but you know, we're gonna give it a try. So, headlights, uh... On? Are they on? Yes. Um... Uh, that's the brake. That's the automatic brake. No, th this is the cruise control. Oh, we, we're not going to need that. Yeah, Joel, just have it on. Why not? Uh, right, we'll put our train uh, in. Is it forward mode? Yeah. Oh, no, I've got it. Shh, I, I can do it. Now, the big question is is it going to move? So, if I just put a little bit of power. Oh, it's making a noise. What have I done? Oh, God, it sounds like a jet engine. Um, no, if I accelerate again, is it actually going to move? Uh, no. Brake valve cut out. Oh, no, we want that cut in. Don't we said that's a passenger. There we go. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. I haven't played Train Sim World in a while. It's all starting to come back to me. Don't, don't, don't judge. Right, so if we do a two of the horn. That's the loud horn. Uh, is it going to move now? Yes. Okay, so now that's moving, uh, what I need to do is I need to be very quick here. So which one was the throttle again? Is it... Uh, hold on. Which one was it? I completely forgot. Okay, it's that one. So that one I need to flick up and then leg it. So wish me luck, everyone. So throttle up and retire. And can I close the door? No, I have to leave the door open. There we go. Oh, it's powering up again. Yeah. Excellent. So we've got 
a runaway Acela Express. Now you're probably thinking, how on earth am I gonna supposed to catch up with the Acela Express by using the Flying Scotsman? Because the Acela Express can only go at like 150, 160 miles per hour. Well, as you guys remember, I managed to get Flying Scotsman up to um, 200 miles per hour once, so I believe I can do that again. Right then, Flying Scotsman Maroney, let's uh, step on board and sit in the driver's seat. Now, again, I have no idea if this is going to work. I mean, it's it's set off and it's it's moving, so that's that's good. Uh, yeah, I think that, that's that's basically it, isn't it? I think so. Right, brakes off. Um, Got to do like checks here. Large ejector on, dampers on, fire open. Yes. Um, it's all coming back to me, isn't it? So, yeah, brakes are off. Loco brake is off. Vacuum. Uh, large. No, la yeah. Ugh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, large injector, small injector. Large injector now off. And a two of the whistle. And I think we are ready to go. Right, so, building up. Excellent. I'll tell you what, I've completely forgot how Flying Scotsman looks in Trains in World 4. And it looks amazing. Again, I haven't played Trains in World 4 in a little while. So, um, seeing Flying Scotsman in this game once again, it's kind of amazing. Right, the reverse are set to 46%. Max throttle up. I think we're good. I might turn the uh, game volume down just a little bit. This is, 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 a, is a little bit loud. But the big question is, can I catch up to the Acela Express? I don't even know where the Acela Express is. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's my God. It's doing a million. Um, it's literally about to overtake me. <laughs> Again, I don't even know if this is going to work. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm glad we're good at it. Why not? And there's the Acela Express. Oh, wow. That thing is going quite fast. I mean, this is in kilometers per hour. So I don't actually know how fast that's uh, that's going. Um, looks amazing in the distance, though, that the, uh, the Acela Express. So we have a runaway electric train. Uh, can I stop it with a steam engine? Uh, well, that's, that's, that is a big question, and that's exactly what we're going to find out today. Yeah. I've got to be honest, I'm not 100% confident uh, in this task. But, you know, I'm still going to have a crack at it anyway. So um, let's have a look on the mini-map. Um, man, that Acela Express is going super fast. I think what I'll do is I'll probably go around the loop a few times before actually switching the track because if I switch track and it turns out I'm not going fast enough, the Acela Express will just smash right in the back of me and then that'll be a task fail and we don't want that do we? No! Wow, I'll tell you what, without any coaches it's so easy to get Flying Scotsman up to 100 miles per hour What's our speed now? 174 So we do 174 kilometers per hour, we're doing 108 miles per hour Hmm, 108 isn't, um, isn't really fast enough. I mean, I can see the Acela Express on the mini-map actually catching up. Hmm, this is going to be a close one. I mean, there it is. Um, it's like being hunted by a great white shark or something. Like, I think it's just the way the nose is shaped. It looks like a, an angry fish that, that well, it wants to eat you. I don't even know what I'm saying now. But here it comes. We have actually picked up a bit of speed now. Because we've almost uh, have linked speed with the uh, the Acela Express. I mean, doing about 195 kilometers per hour. Which is about 121 miles per hour. Almost doing the same speed as Mallard. And it still won't be enough. I still got to uh, push Scotsman to the max limit. Um, hmm... I do to make this thing faster. Thing is, like Scotsman's like doing the perfect speed run right now, and I, and I don't dare touch any of the controls because then I might mess it up and then I'll be doomed. Now I've got two choices here. Do I overtake the Acela and then switch to the tracks, or switch the tracks now and then slow down and then wait for the Acela to go round again? No, I don't like that idea. That's a stupid idea. I'm, I'm just going to go fast. I'm, I'm going to overtake it first and then switch the tracks because that second idea, that's, that's just stupid. I don't know if I'm catching up or it's pulling away more. I don't know yet. I, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. 
I mean, if I look out the window and then see if I try and see it... No, I think. I think... I think it's pulling away from me a little bit. But I'm, I'm still gonna, I'm still going to stay on this line until I know what the outcome is. Because, you know, I'm still speeding up. And we're doing, I mean... Hold on. 232 kilometers per hour. 144. And we're still speeding up. It's good. I mean, in reality, there's no way Scotsman will be able to do 144 miles per hour. There's, there's, no, there's no way. I mean, what's the top speed of the Acela Express? It's about 150, 160 miles per hour. Target its, its top speed. How fast are we doing now? 253. What's 253 in kilometers per hour? It is 157 miles per hour. Mm, we're nearly at max speed of the Acela Express. So, um, question is, can Scotsman go faster than the Acela? I don't know. It's train some world. Anything could happen. Oh, there's the Acela Express. I see it. We're going to pass it, guys. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. I might actually have to start thinking about slowing down. But if I slow down too much, then I'll never be able to get in front of it and try and stop this thing. Yeah. Look at this. They say electric trains are faster than steam engines. I don't think so. Right. So now I am... I can't believe I'm saying this. In front of the Acela with the flying Scotsman. Uh, we need to switch our points now. But this is the scary part. Uh, well, this is this is where it, it could all go incredibly wrong. Because I still haven't actually maxed or linked speed with, uh, with the Acela. So I've got to be very, 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 very careful. Right, now I'm on the uh, I'm on the same line as the Acela Express. Is it catching up? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm on a corner now, so I can't actually see if, if, if I'm slowing down or speeding. Or okay, that thing is... Uh, I don't know. Is it catching up? I don't know. The trees are in the way. I can't see. Okay, that thing is definitely catching me up. I'm so nervous right now. And also, I just remembered... Um, I need to open the hatch of the Acela Express. How am I going to do that? I have, I don't know. Um, is that thing catching up? Yes, but very, very, very slowly. Oh, right, and I'm going around a corner again. Brilliant. In fact, that is actually catching up quite fast. Hmm. This is all the, uh, all the excitement of how to stop a runaway train. So the Scotsman's there, and the Acela is there. I need to open that hatch, and that thing is coming in really, really, really fast. <laughs> oh, it's it's making me nervous right now of how fast that thing's coming in. Oh, I, I think we're going to fail, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> speed up, Scotsman! Speed up! Speed up! It's coming! But I need to get close enough to open that hatch. Oh, I could actually... Oh, listen to the sound of that, Acela. It's terrifying. Uh, right, uh, opening up hatch... Hatch opened. Great. So the hatch is now open and it is cut. Oh, God. I slowed down too much. Oh, it's too quick. It's too quick. No. Oh, no. There it is. Moment of truth, people. Oh, my God. I did it. I did it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I did it. No way. I just did it. Right. Um. So now I've done that. Uh, let's see if we try and stop this thing. So break. On loco break on uh, fire off dampers off close the fire uh, loco break on 100% emergency break on reverser in reverse obviously breaks fully off that's fine that is fine that is fine right time to see if we try and stop this thing I can't believe we actually hooked up I I, I did I I wasn't expecting this to actually work but um. In fact, if I stand up and go through the... Uh, well, can I go through the corridor tender? Yes, I can. Um, oh, just looking at that. That is... Um, it's pretty sketchy, isn't it? Um, oh, 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 that's, uh, that's intimidating. Let's let's go back through the, uh, the, the, the cab of Scotsman. Um, are we slowing down? No, we're actually speeding up. That is not good. Um, dampers... Um, that's the whistle. Um, injector. I need all injectors off. Sorry. There we go. Right. All injectors off. Brakes. Maximum on. Loco brake on. Uh, emergency brake valve. We'll have that open. That might help. And we'll do the same to the other side as well. That might help. 
So now, hopefully, maybe this um, this should work. I mean, we are slowing down. We've gone from 150 kilometers per hour down to 120 kilometers per hour. I mean, bear in mind, we are being pushed by our high-speed electric train. But Scotsman's a tough old girl. She can handle it. She's been through worse. We're definitely being pushed right now by the uh, by the SL Express, but we've made it. We've 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 hooked up, and blimey, look how tall the uh, the Acela Express is compared to Scotsman's well tender and all of Scotsman's. The Acela Express is massive. Um, <laughs> and I forgot the, I forgot the door is still open. Um, oh no, but we are, it is stopping though. I can actually hear it slowing down. I can't believe it. I think this has actually worked. I can't believe it. Flying Scotsman has actually managed to save and stop an unstoppable Estella Express. Bear in mind, these are electric trains, mind you, and it was stopped by the power of steam. I've, I've got nothing. But uh, it's working. It's working. We are coming to a stop and coming to a very safe stop, uh, in fact. I think maybe just stop about there. Yeah, I think that'll work just fine. Excellent. So now, what we need to do is get out of Scotsburn, and then climb up to the uh, Cellar Express, and then throttle off, and then hopefully the generator will shut down. I don't know. Don't even know is it, what, what's making that noise. Is it a generator or something? I don't know, because I don't know American trains, because I'm an idiot. And maybe put that on, and then put the brakes fully on. Put it on emergency. There we go. And then... Uh, maybe deactivate the cab? I don't know. How do you deactivate the cab in this? Let's activate cab. I'll just push that button, see if that doesn't think. Nope, doesn't do anything. I don't, I don't know what to do. Alright, we'll just, um... All you can do now is uncouple. There we go. Well, we did it, guys! We actually managed to stop the runaway Acela Express by using the one and only, and the amazing, and probably the best steam engine in the world, the Flying Scotsman. But I think this has been a great success. Great success, guys. We, I, I, I didn't think we'd be able to manage to do it, but we did. But unfortunately, that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Very important. We are very close to 100,000 subs. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for that day. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but the links are in the description if you want to. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.